Hi, greetings of the day and once again I welcome you all to my new video on trading market with lunar cycles. So, uh, why on earth would anyone wants to trade moon cycles? So one of the trader answers because there is no stock market on Mars otherwise we should have traded Mars cycles also. Trader 2 answers, oh no it's not like that because trading the Jupiter cycle would be too boring. Why? Because Jupiter is too far away from Mars. So cycles will be too boring because they will be too lengthy. Uh, set the rumors apart but uh, the thing is uh, let us have a small talk which will set the base for this video. Do the planets and their transitions really impact market? This is always a topic of a debate. Vaidya Bajar were there from long and in many forms the indicators or in that sense any other thing which we use today were not there in past. Then how do people trade price? Correct? Price. That's why we said price is God, Bhav Bhagwan Che. These indicators and other tools have been given to us by our veteran traders who actually traded market based on the price. And from their studies and observation, we got this indicators strategy which we use today. Traders in past were also looking for some edge over the other, and today also we need an edge to win this game. In this study of price behavior in older time, only thing which I feel was helping trader was planets and their behavior with the prices. Those who study this and acted on it have done well as far as history is concerned, like Mr. Gan, Richard Wyckoff, in some sense Livermore and others. Now the question comes, if planets still impact the market, for me yes they do and in true sense much stronger than past as they impact the psychology of masses. Just think, if you like trend lines or in that sense anything which help identifying the trends and you draw them enough on the charts, some of them are bound to hit some turning points. Correct? Likewise, there are enough planets, their cycles and degree from one another, you are bound to find some correlation. One such correlation exists between market and the movements of the planet is lunar cycle. To support my theory of a correlation between the index price and the moon, let us define the phases of the moon. So uh, we have in front of us a you know, social science subject, the phases of the moon. So we have first quarter, then a waxing crescent, then a new moon, then the waning crescent, then a third quarter, then the waning gibbous, then a full moon, then a waxing gibbous and the first quarter. And this cycle repeat out. This cycle take uh, approximately you know, 29 uh, days and some hours to complete. Right? <clears throat> now, let us take two phases from here. The new moon and the full moon. New moon traditionally symbolizes low energy or energy accumulation. Full moon is a period of procyon, high energy and spendings. So, what can be the strategy out of it? The proposed trading strategy says buy an index on the new moon. If this is a non-trading day, buy on the next trading day. Hold till the full moon, usually 14 to 15 days. I said complete cycle of moon takes 29 days and certain hours. From new moon to full moon, it is approximately 14 to 15 days. When we have to sell, we have to sell the index on the full moon. Similarly, if it's a non-trading day, we will sell it on the next trading day or we can sell it one day before two. Now, let us see some backtest results of this and let us see what data is saying about this. Then we will say what we are trying to say. Let us see what data is saying. So we have a snapshot of Excel. We have some years starting from January 2019 to June 2020. We have certain lunation IDs. It doesn't matter to us. Then comes uh, two rows CND, sorry, two columns CND, new moon. So these are the dates 
when the new moon is going to start 6th of january 5th of february we are not saying when it is going to end we are just seeing when in each month new moon is going to start so these are the dates from january 2019 to june 2020 now column e represents the closing price of nifty on that particular day that is row number 2 column e 10771 the closing price of nifty on 6th of january 2019 10934 closing price of nifty on 5th of february 2019 so i have given some ten legends column a represents year column b is lunation number no relevance at all column c and d it is the new moon dates and column e is the closing price of c that is the new moon date clear i think it's crystal clear now another aspect of it when the full moon is going to occur because we have to buy on new moon and sell on full moon so full moon will occur on 21st of jan 19th on feb 21st of march and so on till 5th of july 2020 we have column j which shows the closing price of nifty on the full moon day that is 10961 is the closing price of nifty on 21st jan 2019 10604 is the closing price of nifty on 19th feb 2019 and so on correct so column h and i they are the full moon dates with time column j is the closing price of h that is on the full moon date clear i think so now we had it certain more columns again okay? c1 again same closing price of new moon column j closing price of full moon column k it is the highest price between the new moon and the full moon date so say for example our first cycle starts strong 6th of jan to 19th of jan correct oh, sorry 21st of jan 6th of jan started 21st jan ended so highest price between the 6th jan and 21st jan nifty is column k column l it is a difference of the closing price that is column j and column i that is the price of full moon minus the new moon this means price of the asset while we are selling full moon date minus the price of the asset when we have buy that is the new moon date column m it is a difference of closing price between the column k and column i that is the highest price that occur in between the new moon and the full moon that is the highest price which we have been occurred minus the closing price of the new moon this means where we have initiated the trade so highest price minus the price where we initiated the trade is our value of column m now if i sum up the entire three last slides it looks like this we have year we have lunation we have the new moon dates then efnr blank then we have the full moon dates then we have c1 c1 is nothing it is again the closing price of index of nifty on new moon date C two again the closing price of the Nifty on the full moon date. High, that is column K. It is the highest price of the index in between sixth of Jan to twenty first of Jan, and then we have two more columns. C R H R. C R is basically nothing. It is the difference of C two minus C one. That is the closing price on the full moon minus the closing price of the new moon. Correct. H R. that is the difference between the highest price of that particular period minus the closing price c1 fine now so i have taken this data of the full moon and the new moon for the last 19 months with dates i have tried to enter the round numbers of the nifty that is the closing price on those particular dates the high price and then calculated the cr that is the difference of c2 and c1 hr that is the difference of h and c1 fine 
Now see what is exactly I am trying to say. First month we got some 190 points. Second month there was a big drawdown, 330 points. Third month we again go for a three point. And this is what I am trying talking of close to close. High to close is a different thing. We are first concentrating on close to close. So we got certain drawdowns. We got certain profits. Uh, some rows are marked with red values. They are drawdown. Then we have got the highest on uh, points as 1103 and the highest drawdown to be 1378 points. But in nutshell, over 19 months, I have earned 962 points. Fine. Likewise, I have done it for high to close. That is the difference of highest price minus the closing price of the new moon. Here I am seeing that I have only got one drawdown. Highest point which I have gained is 1237 and total point earned in 19 months is 5741. Now, this HR can be of some irrelevance because we don't know exactly when that highest point is going to occur. 7th Jan, 8th Jan, 9th Jan, 10th Jan, 11th Jan and I, we don't know. It may be that uh, we taken the trade on 6 Jan and that day high price was the highest price and then uh, Nifty doesn't reach that high point. That can also be a scenario. That can also be a scenario. Fine. So, and it's our luck that we can say that I have, you know, uh, buy at low and sold at very high. That's the highest point. But to be a very conservative trader also, if I'm a very conservative trader and I'm a layman person, I don't know, I will just come I will buy on the new moon and sell on the full moon. Over 19 months, I have a 962 points. If I am a trader, I have a certain logics with me, certain good indicators with me, certain studies of mine, I can definitely gauge the trend before the lunar cycle starts. And I can see that, okay, Nifty can move so much points. There is a scope of moving so much point. I can initiate my trade. If I see that, no, 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 the market is behaving abruptly, there is a chances because some news are about to come. There are chances that market can go down. You could not, you should not trade on that particular cycle of the new moon and full moon. You can just wait or let two, three days pass on. Then if you want to trade, you can, if nothing much high has been made. As a layman, what the strategy say, buy on the new moon, sell on the full moon. That's it. Now. Total month tested under the column N. Total month tested is 19. Total loss month, when I calculate the difference of closing price to closing price, that is C2 minus C1, that is column J minus column I, they were nine months in all. So win percentage, when I say close to close price, it was 53, loss percentage was 47. But then also we made 962 points. Now, if I take high to close, that is for me, it's not realistic, but it may happen. And the win percentage was 94, loss percentage was 6. So, what was the cost to cost average point I earn over 19 periods, 19 months? It is around 50 points. And what I earned average point for a high to close basis, 302 points. Now, if you see, if a person has buy nifty on january 19 on a long term perspective and taking a rollover to rollover to rollover expiry to expiry expiry to expiry and he sell it on june 2020 initiated a trade trade on january 19 selling on june 2020 so the price to buy was 10771 in january 19 the price to sell was 10,763. Correct? What I gain? I lose 8 points. Return of index in 18 months, I lose 8 points. But if I simply blindly go and buy on new moon and risk on or sell on full moon, I am getting 962 points. Figures are saying everything. I need not to repeat anything. Figures are saying everything. Only thing which you can ask me is that if any strategy is there, if it has entry, if it has an exit, it has to have stop loss. Yes, it has to have stop loss. 
but when we are taking an entry on the indicators or the strategy it is based on some price buy about this sell about this and stop loss is this here we are not saying buy above sell above sell below or this and that we are saying buy on a date sell on a date so for me stop loss should be based on the risk appetite or you can club this thing with some of your strategy or indicators and decide your stop loss fine you can also repeat the investment of the overall amount on the next moon cycle that is usually again after after 614 or 16 days now what other data says if we apply this strategy from 1st of march 2010 to 8th of july 2019 on three of the in the, uh, you know stocks we are getting this results it is moon before moon <clears throat> and this so you see uh, whenever it has been traded on moon cycles maximum drawdown is shown annual profit ratio is shown your exposure is shown and this value is saying everything in front of you Fine. Now, if I go to trading view also, fine. I simply marked new moon and full moon. You can just see it is for Nifty. Same way, I have done it for Reliance. It makes sense. So I will just end up over here. So I have shown you how you can trade the market with the lunar cycles. I have shown you the data. I think we should go to data again before I conclude that it is a profitable strategy if it is or I can say it is an edge we are looking for. Correct. So we have seen some thing like this. Now, as there is always a saying in the market. Nothing works perfect all the time in market. So as the st other strategies can fail, this is also bound to fail. We have seen, we have seen around uh, nine months where we haven't dropped down on close to close basis. But over a period of time, I have gained only. Fine. So this is the edge over a person who was playing index over a rollover basis. And a people like us who are just trading for 14 to 15 days and creating an edge over a person. Return of index in 18 months, minus 8 points. We are covering 962 points. You can self-define your percentage evolutions and everything. So I just end up over here. Uh, as well, it was my promise to have a trading strategy here. We have discussed it. Just go through it. Just backtest it more. Gain the confidence, apply the logic. Definitely, you are going to win. Definitely, you are going to win. So, I thanks uh, again all of you to spare your time. You just have to go through the video to comment on it. If anything more can be done, the next video will be talking of number seven. As again, we have uh, talked of that number in our uh, previous video. We will be talking more on the moon, and again, we'll be seeing that how a broader cycle can help us. We have seen a broader cycle in terms of Mr. Gan financial timetable. We will see another aspect of moon, the number mathematics of number seven and all those things. Thanks and thanks all of you once again.